pregame.com. Am I overstating things when I say you can take your entire NFL database and throw it in the trash? No. Yes. <laughs> Teddy covers Steve Fezzik here on pregame.tv. And Fez, let's break it down. The new NFL extra point rules, I'm going to call them an absolute freaking disaster for professional bettors. It's pretty bad. You're going to be kicking the extra point, of course, from the 15-yard line. They're going to miss eh, a very small percentage of those in good weather. But in bad weather, they'll miss more. The impact on the totals maybe drop about half a point in games. But the problem, Teddy, as you know, is going to be in the distribution of scoring because when they do miss, it's going to screw with the distributions of the points scored. Well, exactly. And again, I'm not trying to be too hyperbolic here when I say that this is an absolute freaking disaster. But it is because basically the NFL is designed where good bettors take advantage of the key numbers. Three and seven when it comes to sides. And you can, you can reel off about eight or nine key numbers when it comes to totals. All of those numbers are now less valuable than they were. So running around town, shopping to get the threes, the thing that good bettors do, eh, maybe it doesn't matter that much. All of a sudden, the nines and the fives and the twos, all these dead point spread numbers, they're all live. And what's the one thing that bettors hate? Well, the three things that bettors hate. <laughs> bettors hate lucky bounces, bettors hate randomness, and bettors hate idiot head coaches. Guess what? This rule change, what the NFL is doing, they're trying to make the game more exciting, like the NFL was broke. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But this rule change with the casual fan isn't going to pay all that much attention to. It increases the luck factor, it increases the randomness factor, and it increases the stupid coaching factor that there's absolutely no way to handicap. Well, the problem is the good coaching factor is going to screw me also. And so I actually disagree with you. And since I like the rule change from a fan perspective, but here's give, me, give you two examples. Score in the final play of the game, go up two. Hey, you know, if the defense scores, if they block the extra point, they run it back, it counts for two now. So what's going to happen? The Belichicks and everyone else are going to take a knee at the end of the game. You lay two and a half, you lose, sir. Good day, sir. <laughs> Bottom line, you get a pick six, you go up nine. Is that your nine, Willy Wonka reference? You lose nine. If you're laying nine and a half, you go up nine with, 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 with 18 seconds to play. Guess what Belichick does? He takes the knee because he knows the game is over. The second he takes the knee, he won't risk the blocked extra points. The only way he could lose. And all of a sudden, games don't land ten. They don't land seven. They don't land three. They start landing nine, five, two. And you don't win with these key numbers. Sure. And the key numbers are so crucial to NFL success over the long term from the wise guys. I mean, the, let's be real about this. You're a two-time Super Contest winner. The one year you had five pushes, all on key numbers. 54, winning the Super 26, and 5. I win by half a game. Take away those five pushes. I go 54 and 31. I don't win. I lose, sir. Good <laughs> day, sir. All right. So, bottom line for this Little rule change that no one was clamoring for. Be wary. Be aware that your database numbers are less valuable than they used to be. And remember what happened last year in the NFL when betters got caught with their pants down based looking at database stuff after the defensive rule changes that made it easier for quarterbacks. And all those week one games flew over the total. The league is changing. Be aware. Absolutely. Thanks for watching pregame.tv.